Do you want to improve your page speed insight scores? Check this out. I went from a 27 in the mobile page speed insight on Google to a 98 in about two minutes. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. In this video, I'm going to show you how I got that 98 to 99 Google page speed insight score. That's PSI. I used a tool called the site speed accelerator, and it was created by a company called Ezoic. Ezoic is a Google certified publishing partner. And I feel kind of silly because I tried to do this work on my own and I was using many different WordPress plugins. I was messing with PHP. I was changing things that I shouldn't have been changing. And it turns out it's way easier to get a high score in the 90s. In this video, I'm going to show you a few things. Number one, I'm going to disable the site speed accelerator. I'm going to run the test again so you can see the very low score. Number two, I'm going to re-enable the site speed accelerator, run the test again so that you can see the much higher score. And then I'm going to show you my configuration, what I have set up inside uh, Ezoic in the site speed accelerator. And then there's a couple other little admin things that I want to show you um, at the end. And quick note, you can go and test this for free. So there's a seven day free trial with Ezoic and the Site Speed Accelerator. So you can test it out, see if it works for your site. Hey, my name's Doug Cunnington. And normally I talk about Amazon affiliate marketing and SEO and some other random stuff. And I'm known for sort of long rambling videos, but this one's gonna be shorter and more concise, and I'm gonna to get to the point. There's a couple things I wanna let you know before we get into the meat of the video. Number one, you don't have to enter a credit card to check out this site speed accelerator, right? All you need to do is enter your uh, email address, create a password, you're creating an account, but you don't have to put in any billing information, so that's super cool. The other thing I wanna let you know is Ezoic sponsors my podcast and occasionally a live stream. However, this video is uh, just my own opinion, right? This is exactly what I've used the site speed accelerator for. Ezoic didn't ask me to create the video. They had no influence over the content of this video. This is purely my opinion, but it's important for me to note that I do work with Ezoic on some level. All right, let's get to the demo. Let me give you a little color commentary about what's happening here. So I'm showing you the actual test, the before and after, so that you can see that I'm not making it up. So this is the original, the 27. You'll, you'll see I've blurred out the actual URL just to protect my privacy. Here's the desktop. It's an 82, it's not bad. Mobile is much harder. We're gonna hop over and just look at some of the other details. You can see a lot of issues here, a lot of red. Red is bad, green is good. I'm using Ezoic, Site Speed Accelerator, and I have it configured. So I'm just gonna go ahead and activate it here. And I'm gonna rerun the test so that you can see what's going on. I've accelerated the, uh, the speed of this video. You'll see we got the 98. And then over on the desktop side, we have 100. And basically things are optimized in a very serious way. Here's the settings that I use. I'm basically taking like all the optimization that I can uh, handle here. And it's very straightforward. I think these are the, the defaults, by the way. I'm not doing anything unusual and just hit save and we're good to go. So here's how you can get started and you don't have to enter your credit card or anything like that. You could test this out 100% for free and basically you hop over to the Ezoic site. They have a lot of different things that they can do. Right now, we just care about the site speed. So we'll hop down here. We will click on learn more, all right, learn more. And the cool part is you can get a free analysis of your site. I'm not gonna put in uh, my site here, but uh, I have a friend who needs some help on his site and I'm just going to um, test his out to see how it would uh, perform. So boom, and it takes a second to run, but I already did it and you could see that 1500days.com, uh, the mobile score is pretty low. It is a seven currently, and I was actually talking to my friend Carl, and I was like, buddy, we got to work on this thing. And using the site speed accelerator, he could get up to a 97. So it does the analysis for you. It does take a minute or two. And basically, you just sign up here. This is all you have to do. Put in uh, your website, which you've already done. Put in your email address, password, and a region. 
And um, basically the super cool part is you can get things rolling very quickly. But for the fastest speed, there's something else you need to do. So let me show you how um, I have it configured on my side. We're in my Ezoic dashboard here and you can see I'm in the settings section here. And basically you need to integrate Ezoic with your site. There's two main ways to do it. There are actually a few others, but we're gonna talk about the two main ones. You can see this one is the integrated one and it is faster because you're able to like use the caching options and, and CDNs and it's a little more versatile. It does take a little more setup. Basically you use DNS servers that are Ezoics and that means you have to go over to your uh, registrar where you have your domain registered and then put in the three servers, right? So there's only three servers that you have to put in and it's not very complicated. And, and in my opinion, I mean, I'm not the kind of person who does like the easiest thing, which uh, the WordPress plugin is the easiest option. And I, I don't like plugins personally, just in general, if I could do something in a different way and not use a plugin, I will probably do that. In this case, you get added benefits aside from you know my weird obsession of not using plugins. But you can see here, the WordPress plugin has a simple install, it's instantaneous integration, and you could switch it on and off at any time. And the name server, right, so it's faster, you get the free CDN, um, it takes just a second or two to input the DNS server names. But the thing is, with DNS, the nerdy people already know this, with DNS, it takes up to 18 hours or so to propagate through the servers across the world. So what you need to do is put in your DNS name servers for Ezoic into your hosting registrar uh, for your domain name, and then you wait. So you save it and then you wait um, there's a few other instructions associated with this here. And if you have any issues, right? So the good part is Ezoic is pretty badass in this, in this way. So if you have any questions, if you have any issues at all, you can click help and then send an email to support. Additionally, there are videos like throughout. So if you are, you know, let's say we're gonna do the WordPress plugin, you hop over here, um, there's videos and um, just other information all over the place. So it's very helpful, very easy to set up. And if you ever have any questions or maybe maybe you don't get a, a 90 or higher for your PSI score, you could shoot an email over. They can have a look at your specific integration and see what's going on and make recommendations for you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And um, after you go implement it, come like, leave a comment and say, hey, I was at a uh, 45 and now I'm at a 100 at this point. So let me know the results that you get as well.